Hello everybody, how are you doing and welcome to 48 hours in northern Spain. I am in Galicia and to be very exact in Santiago de Compostela. I've popped over here for the weekend because why not and for the next 48 hours you and I were going to explore Santiago, the cathedral and the surrounding areas and I'm excited. Let's go. We are starting our tour of Santiago with a bit of a walk around the old town and obviously Santiago de Compostela is super famous for its pilgrimage trail or the pilgrimage trail that ends here in Santiago and something really beautiful is that the symbol of the pilgrim, pilgr pilgrims <laughs> that walk along the trail is a scallop shell. It's also the symbol of Santiago de Compostela and on the way where I'm walking right now you can see them all along so it basically points to the cathedral so the pilgrims know that they're almost at the end. I think I can see one over there. There it is. We're just walking past a convent right now and inside there's 33 nuns living there and they also make the very famous Santiago cakes. We're going to go and see how they deliver them right now. It's very beautiful, very hard to imagine for someone like us as well. You basically put money on here, you turn it and then obviously, you know, you get the delivery of whatever you ordered. Only the youngest nun is allowed to kind of answer and, you know, help you with your cake. However, the youngest nun is in fact 82 years old, which is crazy and beautiful at the same time. We are in the oldest hat shop in Spain right now. I'm trying on a few hats. Wish me luck. No. No. <laughs> I think this one is pretty cool. It's a little bit too expensive for me, I think. Comment below. Let me know what you think. <laughs> we just learned something pretty interesting about the bell that is in this tower up there. So if you come here at midnight and instead of 12 strokes, you hear 13, it means that evil is in town. So should I come back at midnight? <laughs> We've just met a pilgrim. What is your name? It's Sarah. 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 Hello, Sarah. <laughs> and these are the stamps she's obtained so well that she done. can prove she walked 200 kilometers. How are you feeling? Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to day two, in case you're wondering, yes, obviously I did buy a hat. I mean, it was the oldest hat shop in Spain. Today, we are off to the south of Galicia. Very, very excited. We're gonna go and do a boat tour, and now let's go. We have made it to Ogrove. We are currently running to the boat, and we're gonna hopefully make it, and then see them catch and hunt <laughs> the mussels. So, wish us luck. We're on the boat, um, muscles are behind me, uh, there, <laughs> and um, also everyone else around us is on the wine, I might say it is 11am in the morning. <laughs> amazing I have to say I'm gonna leave all the links for that muscle tasting party lunch time that we just did down below when you come here please go it was so far maybe my highlight of the trip I did not expect people to dance and sing and you know have wine in the middle of the day this is wonderful and for our next stop we have come to the Villa Garcia de la oh god I don't know Villa Garcia is fine <laughs> And as you can see behind me, it's essentially a market. I think there's three different stalls, uh, fish, fruit, and kind of bread. So let's have a look around. So we asked for a small piece of bread. This 
It's the size. I mean, you know, little snack for lunch. <laughs> mm. Not normally a fan of fruitcake. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> also, that whole entire loaf that we got is two euro fifty. All right, guys, I'm going to walk backwards because it is so beautiful. Uh, for our next stop on the tour, we have arrived at a winery called Pato Bayon. So come with us. Pato Bayon was once owned by a drug dealer. If you look at the house, I'll show you a little overview now. Kind of makes sense. It's very pompous, very beautiful. Eventually, obviously, he went to prison. The government took over and right now it's empty. So they're thinking about maybe building a hotel here. If they do, I will definitely be back. Paul's trying to... <laughs> the, the, the grapes from the vine, Eat fresh the from the grapevine. They're small but intense. Sweet, right? Yeah, very. Love them. Now we're gonna taste the wine from these grapes. <laughs> so in case you guys are wondering why all these vines are so high and we are currently obviously walking underneath all the vines, the answer is that because it gets very humid here, they lift the vines to protect them from the humidity and fungi that grow on the floor down there basically. So they lift it so that people can walk underneath. It's also maybe interesting to pick, but essentially that's the idea to protect it from fungi and for ventilation. So the wind can go through and like that, the wine turns out beautifully. Right guys, that is the end of our 48 hour trip here in Galicia in Spain. What was your absolute highlight? The food, the food, the food, <laughs> but also the muscle boat. Yes, the muscle boat was also my highlight. Yeah, and the wine. And the wine. wine. So basically everything. Everything, right? yeah. Just fun. <laughs> it's great. Come here, please. You know, all the links that I said are down below. Check them out. Thank you so much for watching. And that is it. We're going to fly back home to London. Adios. Bye.